What is going on, YouTube? Fascinating graveyard. I'm standing on the side of US 95 here in Kennebunk, Maine. It's a pretty major freeway here in the northeast section of the United States. So why am I standing in a dangerous location such as this? Well, the reason why I'm standing here is because I was cruising along at 70, 75 miles an hour like everybody else was. I was on my way to Portland and I seen this. And of course, in my line of work, I'm interested in this and I want to know why it's here. I want to know, just like all these people right here, I want to know why this cemetery is next to this freeway. And if you want to be exact, it's about three feet from this freeway. Well, rest assured, this cemetery has been here long before this freeway was ever a thought. As a matter of fact, this cemetery has been here way longer than any of these automobiles or automobiles that were even invented. This is the Hatch Mitchell Cemetery. There's members of the Mitchell and Hatch families. There's 19 graves here. And this cemetery was here a little over 200 years ago with, with its first uh, burial here. In the early 2000s, there was a project by the Maine Department of transportation to widen the lanes on this freeway from two to three lanes and when they widened it that got within about three feet of the cemetery that's why you see that fence right there that fence is there to protect the graves in the winter time when the snow plows come the uh, DOT did a great job with protecting these graves and they put some kind of a sealant on the uh, on the graves there's not much information uh, available online to these uh, graves the only information that I found was that Hannah right here she had two husbands John Hatch and James Mitchell uh, that's her first husband. He died in a boating accident. And she remarried James Mitchell. And he would be right here. And I guess uh, in those days, you would still keep your name your first married name and it says right there uh, widow of John Hatch and wife of James Mitchell other than that these people lived a long time ago and who knows who knows who they were in life you know I do believe this might have been the last burial, 1888. After that, no more, no more burials. I imagine back in those days, they were simple folk and they probably just were farmers. I mean, that's basically how you lived the uh, life you farmed. But who knows, maybe they were a blacksmith, maybe, I don't know, maybe they did tattoos, I don't know. Not much, uh, if any, information at all. Can you imagine? Can you absolutely imagine living at that time in the wintertime? Must have been awfully rough. 
So thankfully, they did not have to disturb the graveyard because they came within three feet of them having to be disinterred and then moved to a different section of the grounds, which it would have probably been like 10 feet over there. So luckily, they were not disturbed. So rest in peace, rest in peace, excuse me, to all of the Hatch and Mitchell families. All right, guys, Lamont at Large, fascinating graveyard. Catch up with you later. Peace out.